So this is a dilution problem. It's something that uh, we have to do a lot whenever we want to uh, make acid solutions for class because a lot of times we get acids in very high concentrations like this and then we have to you know, add water to them to get them to something that can be used by you as students. And the key to a dilution problem is the dilution equation which states M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. And what these represent is M is the concentration of our stock solution, so this is our concentration, and V is our initial volume of stock solution. And same thing here, our new solution, this is going to be the concentration of our new solution, and this will be the volume of our new solution. So this is our stock, like what we have in the stock room, and this is our new solution, what we're trying to prepare. So in this case, our stock solution is 18 molar in concentration. And it says that we're going to be taking 100 milliliters of our stock solution. So that's how much I have. And I'm attempting to make a new solution with a concentration of 1.5 molar. And I don't at the moment know the new volume of my solution, how much I'm going to end up getting. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to be solving. I'm solving for V2. So algebraically, V2 is going to equal M1 times V1 over M2. And if we plug all these numbers in, 18 times 100 over um, 1.5. And so if I calculate that out, I am going to need my new solution will have a volume of 1,200 milliliters. However, we can easily get tricked here. This is our new solution, the total volume of our new solution. So if you think of what's going to happen here, we're going to have a container. We're going to start by putting 100 milliliters of really concentrated acid in there. A lot of acid. And our new solution, we want to have a volume of 1,200 milliliters because when we dilute it, all of a sudden this concentration goes from being an extremely dangerous 18 molar to a relatively uh, safe 1.5 molar. Still not something we want to get on our skin. But anyway, our new total volume is 1,200, but we already had 100 milliliters in there to begin with. So to get this to 1,200, we only need to add 1,100 milliliters of water. So that will be our actual answer here, not 12. So you're just going to be careful uh, with that.